Toy here, and it's time for me to count my blessings. <laughs> I think I recently recorded a uh, video for my birthday showing you some things that I got and um, it's a few days and um, I haven't <laughs> edited it yet but I'm recording this video to prompt me to edit this and that video. Uh, I am counting my blessings today because I have lived 40 years and as I stated in that video nothing horrible has happened to me. Um, like any other human being on the planet, I've had my ups and downs, good days, bad days, that, you know, sad things have happened, but, um, as a black woman living in the United States, I have made it this far without being beaten, raped, shot. Um, I have a college degree. I am working a job that I really enjoy, that challenges me. I get to write and blog. Um, I have a wonderful supporting family, a wonderful husband. I have so many things to be thankful for and um, I'm not going to lie, it's been tough uh, dealing with all the things that are going on in the world. Um, parts of the planet are literally on fire. Um, we don't see a lot of stuff in the news a lot of time reminding of these reminding us of these tragedies that are happening with people dying every day. You know, there are parts of the world that are constantly flooding or dealing with, you know, killer storms where like hundreds and thousands of millions of people are dying all the time, but we don't hear about it all the time. Um, we know that, of course, there's a pandemic that's still killing people. Um, a lot of other countries are doing better. Um, we're not doing that great here in the United States, but that is what it is. Um, there is social injustice all over the planet and a lot of it seems to be geared towards the have-nots or the less thans. People in power um, tend to just, I don't know, get off on keeping people down and treating them less than human and um, specifically in the United States it's people of color and black people who are just been stigmatized to the point where people don't even recognize tragedy when they see it. <laughs> they think that it's perfectly acceptable to kill someone in defense of a TV or whatever. <laughs> um, if you just happen to be black, you automatically look suspicious, so you can be justified into killing or beating a black person pretty much at any time. So these are the things that are happening in the world, in the United States, in my time, and it should be. I seriously thought as a little girl that things would be so much better than they are now, but I think things might have actually been better when I was a kid, because then we were on the upswing. I'm not really sure where we are right now. But despite all that, I'm here. I have so many things to be grateful for, and I'm blessed. I didn't think that this is what 40 would look like. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I feel it. I already pulled a muscle. <laughs> um, if you saw it, if, well, you haven't because I didn't edit it, but maybe I've posted it by now. <laughs> um, uh, I've already pulled a muscle pretty literally the day after I turned 40. So I'm feeling 40. I just didn't know that this is what 40 would be like. I thought, you know, I'd be getting towards middle age. Things would be starting to settle down. I'd be looking towards my future, but I'm feel, still very much in the present and um, afraid to kind of really think too much about the future. I need to, I need for things to get better now <laughs> for me to really think about the future. But whatever that future is here in this time, um, I'm not gonna worry too much about it because I believe in God. And um, if you don't, I'm sorry if that offends you, but that's, you know, that's what I believe in and I believe God has a plan. And so I'm blessed for no other reason if that than that <laughs> and um so yeah that's me counting my blessings i hope you're counting your blessings and getting through whatever it is you have going on in your life um if you want to share any of that with me um that would be great if you don't want to you don't have to but um i am 
hoping and praying for the best for everyone. Even people who don't like me, don't like what I stand for or what I say or believe in whatever, if you're a human being, I don't want your life to be filled with the anxiety that mine is filled with. I don't want you to have to live in fear and I want you to be able to count your blessings to get you through whatever it is you're going through. So that's all I have for now. Bye-bye.